I've got one bank of Maxwell Super Caps here, and a load test that'll go up to 500 amps. And uh, digital voltage is your read in this analog one up here. But I'm going to run it up to about 200 amps current, which is what you'd find if you put about 2,000 watts on one bank, which is pretty common. And uh, I'm just going to hold it until this uh, DMM starts to beep, which should be right at about 10 volts. So you should be able to watch it, um, how quickly it falls, uh, that kind of thing, just on uh, 200 amps of draw. We do not have any charging here, so this is just the bank of caps. It's already falling 12 volts. 11.4. Now we're into 10. 10.5, 10, I believe, is the lowest we saw there. So now we'll try this with a bank of excess power caps. All right, now I've got the same setup, but with excess power caps. Uh, one thing to note between them, uh, the bus bars I got from excess power, and they are slightly thicker, uh, but they are obviously not as wide. Um, I could probably go back and figure out the amount of area and all that to figure out you know, what kind of differences there are, but uh, this much low, there's probably not going to be any difference if there is going to be minuscule. Uh, if anything, the other bus bars that I had uh, on the Maxwell are actually larger, so maybe they have a slight upper hand on that, uh, I, but I doubt it. So uh, we're actually starting 1437, just a hair lower than the, the Maxwell's, but we're going to do the same test again. So 10.5 is again where that shuts off, and now we can uh, compare times. GoPro stopped recording. So there we have it. The excess power uh, caps do outperform the Maxwell's uh, just slightly. Um, take those results for what you want, but they do seem to perform better. Uh, one notable thing, neither of these have been balanced or anything. They went from a completely dead charge, brought them up to voltage, did not sit at all, and just went ahead and tested them. Uh, balancing them um, is really the best thing to do, but we just did a quick charge, very quick test, and that's the result we got. Uh, the excess power caps you can get from us. We are an excess power dealer. Uh, additionally, they now come already in battery cases, so you don't have to worry about getting all these together yourself, knowing how to put them together. And also they're in a nice safe contained battery case. So there's no exposed connections. You hook it up just like a battery. Uh, you can mount them, stack them. However, uh, one thing you do is with that is this way we can configure them any way we want. But in those battery cases, it's a, a much safer thing and the average person just hook it up and it's good to go. So we do have those on our website, emfcaraudio.com. Um, Obviously, they do cost more than just buying the caps. They are brand new caps, not used ones. Uh, so they do cost a little bit more than if you're buying just the caps new. Totally worth it, especially if you're uh, inexperienced, don't want to mess with it. Um, on the used market, I think they're both about the same price. So do with that what you will. But uh, buying new, you know what you're getting. You know they're good sales, and they're going to have a uh, good lifespan. So there you have it. The Excess Power Super Cells uh, do outperform the boost caps uh, just a matter of what your preference is but excess power supports the industry you can pair them with your excess power batteries and you can get it from emfcaraudio.com <laughs>